With Cisco App Center, customers, developers, and partners can build ACI applications to simplify, enhance, and visualize their use cases. These ACI applications are hosted and shared at the Cisco App Center and installed in the APIC. Cisco APIC supports two types of applications, stateful and stateless. A stateless app is a simple HTML, CSS, or JavaScript-based front-end that is run as part of the Cisco APIC UI. Stateless apps are inserted in the APIC UI as an iframe. In this type of application, no app-specific state is stored in the APIC. The app queries Cisco APIC using its northbound REST APIs and retrieves information from the APIC. In a stateless app, no state is maintained in the APIC between two invocations of the app. Some of the common examples for stateless apps include data visualization apps and L4, L7 vendor-specific configuration apps. Stateful apps have a back-end service that runs continuously on the APIC in a sandboxed, containerized environment. The service makes queries to the APIC using the APIC's REST API interface. A stateful app may also have a front-end component in addition to a back-end component. This front-end component is inserted in the APIC UI as an iframe. Some of the common examples for stateful apps include visualization apps, alerts apps, monitoring apps, and apps to sync data between APIC and third-party vendors. Developing an APIC app involves setting up the directory structure and the files required for the application, creating the metadata for the application, packaging the application, publishing the application to Cisco App Center, downloading the application from Cisco App Center, and installing and launching the app in APIC. Before you begin, you must fulfill the following prerequisites. To develop an APIC app, you must set up a directory structure in your workspace containing folders and files. The first one is the app JSON file with the information required by the Cisco App Center to recognize the app and validate it. The second is the UI Assets folder containing the following files. The required appstart.html file that contains the cookie information to implement the single sign-on in an application. The required app.html file containing the app's main HTML file and other files and subdirectories required for the app's UI. The third is the media folder which includes the required readme folder containing the end user license agreement for the app, the required license folder containing the Cisco license file for the app, the snapshots folder containing files which provide a preview of the app, and the intro video folder containing a video which introduces the app and gives information on how the app works. And the fourth is the legal folder containing the legal information required for your app. For a stateful app, you also need to include the following two folders. The first is an image folder containing the Docker image for the application. A Docker image contains all the packages required by the app to implement the backend. And the second one is the service folder which includes the startsh file containing the first script that is executed after the Docker container is installed and starts the various app-specific services inside the container and the app-specific files that are used inside the container. After developing the app, enter the following commands to package and validate the app. Once the app is packaged, you can publish the app to the Cisco App Center and then upload it to Cisco APIC. For more information, see the Cisco App Center video and the Cisco App Center Developer Guide.